Pokey was a porcupine. Like all porcupines, he had sharp quills like needles sticking out of his back. When he was worried or afraid, his quills stood up ready to poke whoever came close to him. On Pokey's first day at school, he was a bit worried. He stood with his mother and looked around his new school. He saw many animals. There was a rabbit, a fox, a crocodile, two cats and an owl. But no porcupines. Pokey wasn't so sure if school was a good idea. The bell rang. Mr. Hoot the Owl stood outside the class to welcome his students. Pokey's mother gave him a prickly hug and said goodbye. Welcome to school, Pokey, said Mr. Hood, the teacher. Pokey walked in slowly and took the empty seat next to Robo, the rabbit. Ouch, said Robo, and moved away from Pokey to the edge of the bench. You're prickly. When the animals all lined up to go to the library, Pokey bumped into Cat. Ouch! You're prickly! said Cat loudly and moved away. Now Pokey was a porcupine and porcupines have quills. And when porcupines are worried, their quills stand up. The animals at school had never met a porcupine before and didn't understand why he was hurting them. His quills became a problem. Poor Pokey didn't mean to poke anyone who sat next to him. He couldn't help it. His quills always got in the way. During recess, no one wanted to play with Pokey. When the animals got back to class, no one wanted to sit next to him. Mr. Hood told Pokey he would have to sit all by himself. That night, Pokey was not happy. He lay awake in bed long past his bedtime. He told his mother what had happened at school and said he did not want to go back the next day. I wish I could drop all my quills and have smooth skin like other animals. He told his mother. Pocky's mother really wanted him to go to school. She had an idea. She stayed up all night knitting a thick shawl so Pocky could cover up his quills and not be so prickly at school. When morning came, Pocky dragged himself out of the bed. He slowly walked out of his den to look for his mother. He didn't want to go to school. But he knew his mother would make him go. And she did. However, she covered his quills with the bright blue shawls that she had knitted. You look handsome, Pokey. She said with a smile. And your quills will not poke anyone anymore. But remember to take off your shawl if you are ever in danger. Quills are useful to porcupines. So off went Pokey to school wearing his bright blue new shawl. And it worked! He wasn't prickly anymore and soon became friends with the other animals in the class. It was playtime! After finishing their snack, the animals went out to play. Quietly, without making a noise, a hungry lion came by. He stood under a tree and watched the animals running around. Whom should I eat for dinner today? Thought the hungry lion to himself. When the animals saw the lion, they froze with fear. All the animals, except Pokey the porcupine. He stepped forward and threw his bright blue shawl from his back. His sharp pointy quills stood up. He looked the lion in the eye and said, Can I help you, Mr. Lion? The lion trembled and turned blue. No, thank you. He mumbled. I was just walking by. Pocky took two steps forward. The lion took two steps backwards. He swung around and ran and never came near animal school again. All the animals clapped and cheered. Hooray! They cried. Pocky is a hero. His quills have saved the day.